us so special as Christians, and I want everybody to know this, is that we serve a risen Savior. If you believe we serve a risen Savior, then you too are my brother. You too are my sister. And no matter what you do, you understand that by us serving a risen Savior, that when we walk, our God is walking with us. When we talk, our God is talking with us. He hears our prayers. He's not just a God that you can put in a closet and close in a closet. He wants to go with you. He wants to, he, he wants to live inside of you. Amen? Amen. Jesus said in, in, in Matthew uh, 12 and 40, he says, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the well's buried, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And once again, this is the advantage we have. Our Savior is living Savior. Jesus is a living He's living. He's right now. He's among us now. He's, he's fixing. And, and my prayer is that He touch your situation that you know that He's among us now. There's some, some right now, somebody's dealing with something and they're trying to figure out, man, how am I going to deal with this thing? Well, Jesus, I'm going to ask you now to touch them. That when they go home, they see that you were there and they know that you were able to do all things. They know that you haven't forgotten about it. They know that you're a living God concerned about their every situation. Amen? Christ has been raised permanently and forever. And this is where we're going, and I'm getting ready to come to a close. Our focal scripture. When I started, I read from the book of First Corinthians, and I came, and I want to focus in on one specific, one particular verse, verse number four. And the verse number four says, "In that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures." That's very important because if we believe in stuff. The question is, why do you believe what you believe? Well, I believe it because the scripture says it. I don't just believe it because uh, Brother Porter told me. I believe it because it's the scripture. And do you understand that if one scripture is not good, that makes the whole Bible untrue? One scripture can take away the whole Bible. So if one scripture is not good, then we may as well throw away the whole Bible. And because all scriptures are good, and because the Bible declares, and I believe, that Jesus rose and he is alive, then this is why we believe. This is what we believe. And this is what we can stand flat-footed on. We can go the rest of our lives. We can take this anywhere to the outermost regions. Amen? Mm -hmm. After our talk today, you should be more confident in your beliefs. You should be more stable in your beliefs. And if you want to go out and witness to somebody, the only thing that you need to know is John 3 and 16. That's all you need. For God so loved the world. And if you could go out and spread that love, you too can be a powerful testimony. Just tell them John 3 16 and share your testimony with them and pray with them. And you'll win. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, as I close again, I, prayerfully we can stop telling people to leave any type of religion that they may be in, especially if they live, if they serve a risen Savior, we should be more comfortable with that because now we understand who we are and what we do. But my question, if you're not truly convinced that you're serving the right God, if you're not if you're not hundred percent sure, well, this whole living God thing, I've got I've got issues with it. My I want to pray with you that God reveal himself to you. That God said, you know what? I want to give God a chance. You know, sometimes people say, I say, let's send out some evangelist team. I tell people at my church, let's send out an evangelist team. They say, well, well, Pastor, why? Because they're not ready. If they go out there, they're going to meet some people and they're not going to know what to say. They're not going to know what to do. And I always tell them, don't worry. That's the word. Do the word. If they knew everything, they wouldn't be any good anyway. It would do me no good. That's why the only thing we need to know is that we serve a risen Savior. And the only scripture we really need to know is John 3 and 16. And the only thing we need to be able to speak boldly about is what he's done for us in our lives. And each and every person can do that. Because if he hasn't done anything, this is what we're praying for. It's only because you didn't realize. You thought it was coincidental. You thought it just was supposed to happen. But I want you to know today that God purposely set your situation up so that he can fix you 
heal you and get you where you are today. Amen? Amen. So if there be anyone that would love to that would desire prayer today, I would open up the floor even now to pray with you. But if not, I'm going to ask everybody to bow their heads and close their eyes. And we go to God in prayer once again. Dear Lord, thank you. We love you and need you. Lord God, I'm asking you now to reveal yourself to the people gathered here today. Lord God, I'm asking you now to, to, to let me decrease, Father God, that you increase. Let them see you, not me. In the name of Jesus, I pray transparency now that they see that the word was brought forth today for their good. Not just for form or fashion, but it was brought forth today that someone be healed, someone be delivered, someone see you in a new light. And I'm thankful and I'm confident that even now as I pray, you're changing lives, you're saving souls. In Jesus' name, let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.